participate in this holy sacrifice and now please make an examination of your conscience having confessed our sins to God and asking for his forgiveness let us recite now the second act of confession I confess to Almighty God, one in the Holy Trinity, in the presence of the Blessed Virgin Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned in thought, word, and deed, by my fault, by my fault, by my own great fault. I ask the Blessed Mother Mary, all the saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant us pardon, absolution, and remission of our sins. Amen. May our Lord Jesus Christ absolve you, and with his authority vested in me by him, I absolve you of your sins. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. O God. You will again renew us. <laughs> Show us your mercy, Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Take our sins away from us, Lord, so that we might enter the Holy of Holies with purified hearts through Christ our Lord. Amen. Beloved, we are God's children now. What we shall be has not yet been revealed. We do know that when it is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, Heavenly King, Almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. 
You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit. In the glory of God the Father. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, our divine teacher, you showed us the splendor reserved for those who are faithful. Fill our hearts with such a learning that your glory, that leading a life worthy of you, we may receive from your hand eternal life, salvation promised reward, for you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray, O merciful Father, as we pray this day for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother in blessed memory, Joseph Koschik, Jr., and ask for your grace and blessing Accept him into your eternal kingdom and bring us the consolation of always trusting in your care. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. John, would you please proclaim today's word? Daniel. As I watched, thrones were set up, and the Ancient One took his throne. His clothing was snow bright, and the hair on his head was as white as wool. His throne was flames of fire with wheels of burning fire. A surging stream of fire flowed out from where he sat. Thousands upon thousands were ministering to him, and myriads upon myriads attended him. The court was convened and the books were opened. As the visions during the night continued, I saw one like the Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven. When he reached the Ancient One and was presented before him, the one like the Son of Man received dominion, glory, and kingship. All peoples, nations, and languages serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not be taken away. His kingship shall not be destroyed. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. The graduate. His divine power has bestowed on us everything that makes for life and devotion. Through the knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and power. second letter of St. Peter. Beloved, we did not follow cleverly devised myths when we made known to you the power and coming of our Lord Jesus Christ, but we had been witnesses of his majesty, for he received honor and glory from God the Father when that unique declaration came to him from the, from the majestic glory. This is my son, my beloved, with whom I am well pleased. We ourselves heard this voice come from heaven while we were with him on the holy mountain. Moreover, we possess the prophetic message that is altogether reliable. You will do well to be attentive to it as to a lamp shining in a dark place until day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. A 
Alleluia, Alleluia. Jesus is the reflection of God's glory and the exact imprint of God's very being. And he sustains all things by his powerful word. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Almighty and eternal God, who cleansed the lips of the prophet Isaiah with a burning coal, cleanse my heart and my lips through your gracious mercy, that I may worthily proclaim your holy gospel through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Lord be in my heart and on my lips, that I may worthily proclaim his holy gospel. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. He was transfigured before them. His face shone like the sun, and his clothes became white as light. And behold, Moses and Elijah appeared to them, conversing with him. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Lord, it is good that we are here. If you wish, I will make three tents here, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. While he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud cast a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice and said, This is my beloved Son, with whom I am well pleased. Listen to him. When the disciples heard this, they fell prostrate and were very much afraid. But Jesus came and touched them, saying, Rise, and do not be afraid. And when the disciples raised their eyes, they saw no one else but Jesus alone. As they were coming down from the mountain, Jesus charged them, Do not tell the vision to anyone until the Son of Man has been raised from the dead. This is the gospel of our Lord. Jesus took Peter, James, and his brother John and led them up a high mountain by themselves. These words are taken from today's Holy Gospel according to Matthew. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. To you, my dear brothers and sisters, gathered in the name of Jesus. Today is a very special day in the Christian Church. For today, throughout Christendom, whether you be a Catholic, an Orthodox, or a Protestant, today is a very special day where we all come together to celebrate the solemnity of the transfiguration of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. It should be pointed out that it was towards the end of Jesus' life that he led Peter, James, and John to a very special place, and there he was to transfigure before them. But Jesus was not by himself. 
For Peter, James, and John, the inner circle, saw Moses and Elijah. For Peter, James, and John, who were to go on and become witnesses to the Lord. This was the culmination and the proof of the divinity of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, it is good that we are here, is what was said to Jesus. Moses, because he was the giver of the law, the Torah, of the Old Testament. Elijah, considered the greatest of all the Old Testament prophets. Those three were gathered to give glory to Almighty God. You know, we say Jesus is our Savior. He saves us from our own ignorance, from our own hatred and anger, and he shows us a better way. But Jesus, through his transfiguration, was to share with, some, with all of us a very special message. I have friends of mine who are from different faiths. My path is to follow Jesus because I believe that he is the Word of God that he is the perfect transparency of God and that he came with his teachings and backed up by his miracles that he was and is and will be who he claims I have talked concerning religion to people of different faiths. Many of my friends I have known over the years follow Hinduism. And do you know how one Hindu greets another? Namaste. Many of you may not know what that means, but when one Hindu approaches another and says Namaste, they are saying, I salute the divinity that is within you. Jesus, as an emissary of God, was not only here to proclaim his own divinity, but through his writings and through his teachings as recorded in the New Testament, he speaks of each and every single one of us and our own divinity. We don't act at times as though we have that special gift of divinity within us, and so that is why it is important that we gather to hear the Word of God and to reflect of how we, saw, how we measure up to the teachings of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Paul says concerning Jesus that he is the firstborn of many. Did not Jesus in his own teachings say to you and to me, you're the light of the world. But yet he himself said, I am the light of the world. Jesus says you are the salt of the earth. Jesus raised the consciousness of man to a higher level and pointed as Jesus being an emissary and a messenger of God to proclaim the divinity that exists 
within each and every single one of us. And it was not only Jesus, but blessed Paul says, do you not know that you are a temple of God and that the Holy Spirit exists within you? Paul also says that what we see as in a shadow, we will see clearly and we will be like him. What does Paul mean when he says, put on the Lord Jesus Christ? What does he mean when he says, it's not I who lives, but Christ who lives within me? We are of two natures. And there are so many times that we get caught in the outside world and we lose that spirituality that exists within each and every single one of us. That is why we have a church. Because when you walk through those doors, you leave the outside world outside. And when you come into this consecrated church, you are presenting yourself to the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You pray unto the Lord and say, Lord, I have fallen short. And I need your grace. I need your teachings. I need your help. My brothers and sisters on this, the solemnity of the transfiguration of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, he was to show us that indeed we are very special and that we are destined to understand the the importance of the gifts that he has given unto us. And so may all of us who come together to celebrate his transfiguration understand that there is a transfiguration that takes place within us. It is a met metamorphosis. It is the changing of our old self into a new self dedicated to God. May we daily remember of the gifts that God has given unto us of our own divinities. Amen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the name of Jesus Christ be praised now and forevermore. Amen. the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He was born of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in fulfillment of the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeds from the Father. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Please be seated.
to the Israelites, the glory of the Lord was seen as a consuming fire on the mountaintop. celebrate here on earth intercede for us in heaven through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray my brothers and sisters that our gifts of love and sacrifice may truly be accepted this day by God our Heavenly Father. Amen. Let us pray sanctifying spirit glory of the Lord you make our sacrifice acceptable. Give us the grace to see the splendor of the precious and majestic things Christ has done for us, changing us into his image. For together with the Father and the Son, you live and reign, one God forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty Father, accept these prayers that we offer for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother and blessed memory, Joseph Koschik, Jr. May this offering unite all of us with your son's offering on the cross, which brings to us eternal life. We ask all of this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your poor hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks unto the Lord our God. It is right to give him thanks and praise. Father all powerful and ever living God. We do well always and everywhere to give you thanks through your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through his cross and resurrection, he freed us from sin and death and called each of us to the glory that has made us a cho chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, and a people set apart. Everywhere we proclaim your mighty works, for you have called us out of darkness into your own wonderful light. And so therefore on this, the solemnity of the transfiguration of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, we join with the voices of angels and archangels, along with all the saints and the entire church, and we lift our hymn of praise to your glory, repeating unceasingly, 
Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please be seated. Most merciful Father, we most humbly pray and ask you through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, to accept and to bless these gifts, these presents, these holy and the spotless sacrifices which we offer to you in the first place for your holy Catholic Church, that you would guide it in peace, defense, and unity throughout the whole world with its bishops and priests, especially Anthony, our prime bishop, and Paul, our bishop, and all who profess the true Orthodox and Catholic faith, which comes to us from the apostles. Remember your servants, O Lord. My brothers and sisters, let us offer our intentions to God for the sick, the suffering, and the dying, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. May we pray and give God our thanks for the blessings of doctors, nurses, first responders, and healthcare workers. In our deepest prayers, may we pray for all abused and neglected children, all abused and neglected animals, and all victims of violence both here and abroad. May we pray this day for peace in our world that the Spirit of God may come upon those who create war and bring unto them the peace of Christ. Let us be thankful for all those who serve in our military and our forces, both here and abroad. And may we also pray, dear Father, for all who are gathered here, their families and friends, whose faith and devotion are known to you for whom we offer or who offer up to you the sacrifice of praise for themselves and all their own, for their hope of salvation and deliverance, and who freely choose to serve you, the living, eternal, and true God. We join in communion with and honor above all others the memory of Mary, the glorious Virgin Mother of our Lord and God, Jesus Christ. Also, your blessed apostles, martyrs, and confessors, together with all the countless number of saintly men and women of all nations, but especially of our nation, who lived, suffered, and died for the glory of your name and the coming of your kingdom. May the remembrance of these praiseworthy people encourage us to follow their heroic example, making us worthy of your grace and love through the same Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We ask you, Lord, to graciously accept our offering and that of your whole family, and so order our days in your peace, that we may be saved from spiritual damnation and counted among the flock of your chosen people. Through Christ our Lord, amen. O oh God, we ask you to bless, to accept, and to confirm this offering, and make it pleasing unto yourself, so that it may be filled with the power of the Holy Spirit, and become for us the body and the blood of your most beloved Son our Lord Jesus Christ, the day before his suffering and death in order to manifest his infinite love to his disciples and through them to all who would believe in him, to fill the hearts of his followers with the fire of this love, draw them to himself, make them joyful and save them. He instituted these holy mysteries in which spiritually and bodily in his entire being, he again lives among his people. At that solemn moment, so sacred for the whole human family, our Savior took bread into his holy and venerable hands, and having lifted his eyes to heaven, to you God, his almighty Father, and giving thanks to you, he blessed it, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat it, for this is my body, which is given for you.
in like manner after supper, taking this excellent chalice into his holy and venerable hands, again giving thanks to you. He blessed it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant, which shall be shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. As often as you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Therefore, in remembrance of this Christ, your Son, our Lord, in his blessed passion, resurrection, and his glorious ascension, we, your servants and faithful people, offer to your divine majesty from your own gifts and presence a pure offering, a holy offering, an immaculate offering, the holy bread of eternal life, and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to regard these offerings with favor and joy, and accept them as you we receive the gifts of your just servant, Abel, the sacrifice of our patriarch Abraham, and that which your high priest Melchizedek offered you, a holy sacrifice of the Immaculate Host. We humbly ask you, Almighty God, command that this offering be brought by the hands of your holy angel to your high altar into the presence of your divine majesty, that we who receive the most sacred body and blood of your Son from this altar may be filled with every blessing and grace through the same Christ our Lord, we pray this day. Amen. Lord, remember our brother Joseph, who has gone before us with a sign of faith and who now sleeps in peace. To his soul, O Lord, and all who rest in Christ, grant, we pray, a place of refreshment, life, and peace through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. And grant us, your sinful servants, who hope in the greatness of your mercy, so part in fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, and all your saints who shed their blood for your name. Their hearts were always open to justice and mercy, and with lives patterned after their divine master, merited eternal joy. Number us in their company, Lord, not weighing our merits, but pardoning our offenses. Through Christ our Lord, amen. By whom you always crave, sanctify, revive, bless, and freely give us all these good things. Through him, with him, in him, all honor and glory are yours, Almighty Father, in the unity with the Holy Spirit. Forever and ever, Let us pray, admonished by divine institution, and following divine example, we say with confidence, Our Father, who art in Deliver us, Lord, from all evils, past, present, and future, and by the intercession of the blessed and glorious Mother of God, Mary, together with your blessed apostles, Peter and Paul, also Andrew, 
and all the saints grant us peace in our day supported by the help of your mercy may we always be free from sin and secure from all disturbance through the same jesus christ your son and our lord who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the holy spirit for forever and ever Amen. may the peace of the lord be with you always May this commingling and consecration of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ help us to receive it to everlasting life. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Do not look at our sins, but on the faith of your church, and grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, for you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of the living God, by the will of the Father and the work of the Holy Spirit, your death brought life to the world by your holy body and blood. Free us from all our sins and from every evil. Keep us faithful to your teaching and never let us be parted from you. Who lives and reigns God forever and ever. Amen. May the partaking of your body and blood, Lord Jesus, not be cause for our judgment or condemnation. Though we are unworthy to receive this great, great sacrament, through your loving kindness may become our safeguard and healing remedy. Our saving master, awaken in all of us living faith, fervent love, Worship, adoration, and a holy longing. Through this communion, make us your willing servants, zealous to fulfill your holy will. May it at last unite us entirely with you, our Lord and our God. Grant us who lives and reigns with God the Father in unity with the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. We will take the bread of heaven, and we will call upon the name of the Lord. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. May the body of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul into life everlasting. Amen. What shall I return unto the Lord for all the graces he hath rendered unto me? I will take the chalice of salvation, and I will call upon the name of the Lord with high praise while I call upon him, and I shall be saved from all my enemies. May the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ preserve my soul unto life everlasting. Amen. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Lord, receive the body.
The image of his own nature he made him. The Lord be with you. And also Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the glorious transfiguration of your only begotten Son, you confirm the mysteries of faith by the testimonies of the prophets. Refresh by your Eucharistic gifts, may we become co-heirs with Christ and sharers in his glory 
We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Let us pray. Merciful God, through this Holy Eucharist, we are united with our Lord Jesus, who rose from the dead. May our brother Joseph, of whom we offer prayer this day, be joined with you in the new Jerusalem. We ask this through the same Jesus Christ, who lives with you and the Holy Spirit in our one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Go, the sacrifice is offered. Praise be to God. May the jubilee of our worship be pleasing to you, most holy trinity. Grant that the sacrifice which I, the unworthy, have offered up into the sight of your majesty be acceptable to you. Through your mercy may it be effective for myself and for all those for whom we have offered it. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. May the almighty and merciful God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Lord, Lord. In the beginning was the Word. The Word was in God's presence, and the Word was God. He was present to God in the beginning. Through Him all things came into being, and apart from Him nothing came to be. Whatever came to be in Him found the life, life for the light of men. The light shines on in the darkness, a darkness that did not overcome it. There was a man named John sent by God who came as a witness to testify to the light, so that through him all might believe. But only to testify to the light, for he himself was not the light. The real light, which gives light to every man, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and through him, the world was made, yet the world did not know who he was. To his own he came, yet his own did not accept him. Any who did accept him be empowered to become children of God. These are they who believe in his name, who were begotten not by blood, nor by cardinal desire, nor by man's willing it, but by God, the Word. Became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory of an only Son coming from the Father, filled with enduring love. Thanks be to God. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. And for the repose of the soul of our late departed brother in blessed memory, Joseph Kostick, Jr., as we also offer prayers for the repose of the soul of our sister Loretta Mikoski, and for all our departed loved ones, eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. May they all rest in peace. Amen. 
In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.